All right. What do we have here? <laughs> I think those look really cute. Oh, little pizza earrings. Home chef hustle. All right. Actually, I love those counters and I'm not a counter type of person, but uh, yeah. Oh, a little waffle maker. Oh my gosh. Is that like, I don't even know what that other one is. Oh, she's cooking with a kid. That's adorable. Is that a pizza oven? Oh my gosh, it is. Oh, I don't know if we've ever officially been able to make pizza before. That's so cute. And I really actually like the new sales table. I wasn't sure about it at first because I was like, don't we have a sales table? But oh, the waffles can come in different shapes. <laughs> also, I don't know if I would be teaching a child to cook by spinning knives in the air personally. Oh, are those going to be flirty waffles to go with the flirty, like, pancakes? Can we make flirty pancakes or just pancakes with a bunch of gummy bears in them? I can't remember. Okay, are, is this more pizza? Okay, I actually really love that. I actually really love that. I would have so much fun. Can you imagine having a cute little, like, party where you could have uh, your Sims, like, kids come over for a sleepover with your, your Sims kid? And then you could go ahead and have, like, fresh homemade pizza. Maybe you could get all of the kids with you while you watch. Was that, like, a UFO pizza slice? Excuse me? Break in new appliances. Oh, wait. Is that pizza oven going to be, like, an instant death wish with, like, fire? Oh, can you imagine a little, oh, you could do a Llama Scouts cookie sale zone. That would be so cute. Oh, and good. It's not too far off either. So that's adorable. All right. Time to review. All right. I'm going to be honest. This is probably not hard to know about me, but I happen to be obsessed with the adorable recipes that our Sims can make, perhaps because it's just the kind of detail that adds so much to a, a little story setting and is just fun and delightful and also combines quite nicely with being able to garden, being able to collect milk and eggs from all of the different animals that we can now have in the game as well. Uh, and I actually love it so much that I used to have a entire mods folder called Simlish Foodie uh, in my Sims 2, Sims 3, and now my Sims 4 mods. And by the way, if you like uh, Simlish food, highly recommend Brazen Lotus, Icy Mun Mun, Oni, uh, let's see, Tiana Sims. I love the farm. Oh my gosh, her farm cupcakes are so freaking cute, you guys. They are so adorable. I cannot wait to have those farm cupcakes over in our Ranch to Riches Let's Play. They're so cute. Uh, but anyway, moving on from the amazing plethora of fantastic different recipes that you can get from the custom content community, there are some actual Sims official game things coming out, obviously, since it's called, you know, Home Chef Hustle. And I don't know if all of the waffles and pizza kind of gave that away too. <laughs> But we can go ahead and we can become a masterful home chef. And uh, there's going to be some actual base game uh, updates to how we can search through recipes and how everything's organized like that coming as well. I have no idea how that's going to break all of the aforementioned beloved cooking custom content. However, that will be coming out in a couple weeks, I guess, when the pack comes out as well. And that will hopefully make it easier to be a home chef so that you're not just scrolling endlessly through lots and lots and lots of recipes that you can pick from. But for now, look at that cute little apron! I love the little veggies on it and the little strawberries on here. And apparently somebody really loves waffles. Uh, I ironically, my beloved husband heard me talking about how much I love waffles last night and I woke up this morning and he has a tiny little waffle maker that he had delivered with some gluten-free flour mix. It's so cute <laughs> and it's just so adorable. So I guess I'm celebrating Home Chef Hustle with an actual waffle maker in real life too. <gasps> Look at the little messy, oh my gosh, the apron over here happens to have a bunch of flour on it. I love those kinds of details. I wish that we could have that as kind of like an overlay for, for little kids as well for like their faces and things like that. Uh, but we do have a bunch of new stuff coming in. I'm actually surprised. I thought we were only getting the waffle maker, but there's also the waffle maker, the stand mixer, which I don't know how that's going to affect cooking other than maybe now our Sims won't have to stand there looking like they're going to literally yeet a bowl full of batter right off the countertops, the shiny brand new countertops we like must point out. 
Uh, maybe they'll just put it over in the stand mixer now and they won't just kind of do that thing with the spoon that looks like they're going to make a chaotic mess. It looks like there's a few adorable new decoration items as well. I don't recognize that chair, but I'm not exactly like a Sims Kia uh, fan person who just has memorized an entire wiki full of all the Sims furniture. However, I do love the gameplay items. And this pizza maker is quite interesting because I actually didn't know that those even existed. I, for some reason, had just assumed that all pizza ovens were rustic looking. <laughs> I kind of wish we had a rustic option that you could put like on top as well, but I bet a custom content maker will transform that into a cute little like stone version of a pizza oven that you could put on any of these lovely new countertops. So now that we've kind of like poked at some of these things, uh, what do we actually have down here? If you want to become a top tier home chef, you need the right tools and workspace. The Sims 4 Home Chef Hustle Stuff Pack and the Sims 4 Home Chef Hustle Stuff Pack Try saying that five times fast with waffles in your mouth, right? Players can renovate their Sims' perfect home kitchen and upgrade to new sleek designs inspired by European kitchen designs. Tap into your best interior design skills with a full set of counters, cabinets, and matching appliances. The oven plus stove, fridge, and dishwasher. For amateur chefs who are looking to make their mark in the kitchen to food entrepreneurs who are ready to turn cooking into cash. Any Sim can live out their cooking dreams. And again, I would like to repeat, if I could think of anything that would be super fun to do when it comes to having a Sim sell something at that little big table, which I hope to high heavens will get more attention than the sales tables we've had in previous games. <laughs> Like, I, I hope we have more than just, like, zero Sims coming up to buy some of the cookies. I think it would be the cutest thing in the world to have, like, a little Sims kids club where they baked cookies with whatever troop leader they had of some, um, some like, variety. Maybe even, like, an older sibling. Like, a teenage older sibling would be really cute. And they could sell those cookies and use the money that they gain to like upgrade a little clubhouse or something like that, which would be so cute. So there's an idea out there for some fun gameplay. Oh, because look at the kid. Oh, and it looks like we have what is probably a decorative cookbook right over here. Very adorable. We have a few more. Ooh, ooh. So there's like a measuring um, bowl with a scale. Again, I really like the new countertops. They are quite appealing. I think there's a new backsplash. I'm pretty sure that's what you call that. I'm pretty sure that once upon a time I had like some aunt talk about her backsplash tiles before. So I think that's what those are called. I like the floor. Don't know if it's, uh, again, not a connoisseur of the like dozens of floors and walls that we have anymore, but I, I like the whole mix of it together. I'm glaring suspiciously at those plants, but I don't think any of them are new unless you count the chopped up ones sitting in this tiny container over here. And I love the idea that the kids can really actually interact with being able to learn how to cook. I think that's really cute. Aw, and maybe they could just like be adorable and like learn how to cook things with, with an adult and then go and give them away as gifts. That would be very, very cute. So, new small appliances, big kitchen upgrade. Small appliances can deliver big results in the kitchen. With a brand new stand mixer, side notes, Sim oh, Sims can eat edible cookie dough straight from the prepped ingredients jar. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. There's a waffle maker and countertop pizza oven. Your Sims can invite family and or friends over for a three course heart shaped waffle brunch lunch or a night of homemade pizzas. Speaking of pizza, show off your slim, sleek, modern pizza with new recipes inspired by traditional Italian flavors. Your Sims will become pizza pros, chopping together and tossing dough before sliding an unfinished pizza into the oven. Not a fan of za? Don't worry, you'll have new focaccia bread recipes to experiment with too. My voice got so wistful because my husband makes the most amazing rosemary focaccia in the world. It's phenomenal. I, I didn't even know how to say the word focaccia but when he started making it, and now it's like one of the best things I've ever tasted in my life. We've added so many recipes over the years, and it's a little trickier to find what you want. To support your Sims culinary quest, we have added filters, so you can find the meal you are looking for in a fraction of the time in the free base game update coming alongside the pack. Yep, told you guys about that. That is not the only thing we have added to the base game update. Did anyone say hashtag free the cupcakes? You can now cook cupcakes in your own oven instead of needing the gigantic cupcake maker, uh, which 
means that I'm going to have to dig through my piles of Simlish foodie mods to figure out which ones let that happen, I suppose. Oh, that's cute. Uh, oh, also, so we have another glance at, oh my gosh, that's, oh, that's, th wow, that's a pizza-loving family right there. Hmm. Huh. Now, now I, for some reason, just had this flash of inspiration of a thought of a young family living in San Maishuno, renting the cheapest and most wrecked of the apartments, rising from the bottom, rising to the top, or at least enough where they can live in a decent apartment in the city, uh, just by baking homemade pizza and having it be a family business with like a, a mom and pop or mom and mom or pop and pop. I have no idea how we might set it up. Um, little pizza stand pop-up um plaza is what the like, pizza pop-up plaza is what we could call it or place or palace or something a party maybe and then we could have oh if it was a party somebody else could like play music to try to attract people over to buy our pizza that would be so cute oh my gosh okay yeah this is actually expanding a lot more ideas than i was expecting for a stuff pack sell your culinary creations to your neighbors fancy yourself an entrepreneur Sims can be, become food stand owners and set up shop in different lots, bonding with their customers and witnessing the outcomes of selling their culinary creations. Players can even customize the name of the Anywhere Any Fair food stand and choose what types of food they want to serve. So do you... Wait, so does that mean you can like just automatically restock it with food or does that mean you could say hey only put waffles from my inventory in here because that would be amazing let's see uh hint hint the waffle maker and countertop pizza ovens street food style recipes and port portable features are you telling me i could go and have a delicious what looked to be ufo fruit sliced pizza on 6am I could just take my rocket ship, I could sit down next to my my horse or my miniature goats, and I could hang out with my werewolf and vampire friends while we snack upon some UFO pizza with a portable pizza maker. Yeah, there's been a lot that's been added over the years, huh? <laughs> The possibilities are myriad. Uh, okay, let's see. So they're portable and you can take them to the food stand. I wonder if you can cook like there, cause that would really be quite a game changer if you could cook like at your food stand. That would be so cute. And it would really change kind of the feeling. It would be a lot more engaging to send like your Sim to the plaza for the weekend and have them be able to cook right there. Cooking in style. The ultimate cooking adventure simply wouldn't be complete without the right cooking attire. With kitchen-ready hairstyles, matching food-themed accessories, and aprons for the whole family, we plan on having your sims look like serious home chefs. We absolutely love the new kitchen clogs. <laughs> I would have never thought of that. But clearly it just shows that I, I don't think about clogs enough, huh? Oh, okay, so... I'm actually really happy and excited about this because it seems adorable and I want, I I will take anything that gives me new gameplay mechanics and items and also has been a source of sparking inspiration for quite a bit of different like characters, different stories, different gameplay. I've rattled off a lot, just made up out of thin air to you guys already, but let's go back and finish up by looking through that trailer again, just to see if there's any other details that look very yummy. All right, all right, let's slip right back in and go through slow-mo style so that we can see if there's any little, well, I would, oh my gosh, the whisk necklace. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say Easter eggs, but maybe it should be like Easter egg Benedicts that are kind of hiding in here. I think that chicken shirt is also kind of new too. But again, we have so much now that being able to really pick out the nuances of what's new can be a little tricky. So maybe we'll just see what our eyes managed to catch on, like that adorable little set of earrings. I didn't know I wanted food earrings so bad, but it shouldn't surprise me because I actually, I'm looking at like lemon drop earrings, uh, like made out of lemons, orange earrings hanging in my room right now. All right, still like those new counters. Yeah, I actually think that they're quite fun. Is it just me or are they skinnier than usual? Also, what is, I, I never thought about having a counter 
that had holes in it so that we could go ahead and use that as a decorative space too. But now that I've seen that, I want a lot more of that. Maybe we already have some of that and I've just not had a chance to really investigate. <gasps> Look at that cute little jar. Oh my gosh. And there's the stand mixer. I love these little decor. Oh, there's a little piece of cheese that you can grate just as decorative there. That's so cute. All right. Okay. And it looks like there's like a grocery list thing in the background. I really love this uh, like whipped cream and sprinkles and berry little decorative item they have. And I'm very intrigued to see. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And you can see the like cookbook in the background. Like how will the mixer kind of blend in here? Wait, here's the spice jar rack. And she has one of the spices and the spice jar rack is missing a spice jar. I don't think she's going to pull the spice jar off, but I, I like that little detail. I, I do. Don't get my hopes up though. I need to be a little more realistic about that. And I do love this pizza maker. I wasn't expecting myself to be so hyped about our Sims being able to make pizza, but it is kind of like a fun interactive experience in real life too. At least if you do it the style my dad tried to teach me where you really do spend the dough. Uh, well, let's just say that's harder to do with gluten-free flour. <laughs> and I, I think that's going to be really fun because it looks like there are a lot of different types. I think I saw a new omelet that he's hiding. Uh, oh, and look, so they're selling a bunch of soda over here. And then here's the pizza maker and here's the mixer. Okay, so I guess as long as you have the ingredients in your inventory, Maybe you can go ahead and just cook it fresh, which would help because often you show up at these events with the food in your pockets and it, the food goes rotten before you can sell it to somebody. And there's the focaccia. Oh, that's what that was. It was a focaccia over here, focaccia over there. Here's a couple pizzas, margarita pizza and something else at a pool party. That seems like a messy place to have pizza, but I won't judge. Uh, yeah, okay. So we do have the focaccia and then she's kind of like chatting Oh, uh, hey, don't be rude. Look, our food is good. So I guess she has to really, uh oh, oh no, people don't like it. <laughs> I guess you need to work on your skills a little bit before somebody will be willing to go ahead and, uh, you know, buy your food to eat. I like the waffle maker too. I wonder if it will always be heart shaped. Maybe, but why not? Like that sounds really cute. Again, like what do you use the mixer for? Maybe it helps you cook faster, which would make sense if you're going to be a home chef and you're really going to try to make it so that your Sims could enjoy uh, selling the food. The lag time between the prep work and then the cooking can sometimes be quite long. So maybe the mixer helps you out with that. Also, again, the knives, <laughs> the poor child. And I do love that the cupcakes are coming off of the cupcake maker and into the oven. And I am really intrigued to see how many types of waffles we can make. Like there's some adorable little berry waffles. All right, here we go. There is chicken and egg waffles over here. These look like caramel. Here's a couple of the cupcakes we already have. Boing, boing. Let's see. It looks like we have, ooh, so it looks like there's some sort of fruit or is that the caramel hmm oh these look like apple slices on the waffles Ooh. okay so there's definitely going to be at least a few types we can pluck and enjoy uh oh oh is that passion fruit wait oh no they're pomegranates there's like a whole pomegranate outfit <laughs> and you can set up different displays for your little anywhere any food fair stand Let's see, the whisk in another color over here. What The full body outfits are definitely a bold style choice. Oh my gosh, you could have like an official looking chef outfit for your pizza as you get better and better at what you're doing. Are you blending a salad? Okay, that raises more questions than answers, but you know what? It actually would be a refreshing like breath of simlish silliness air to blend a salad in the mixer and be able to make it like that. Also, there's the spice rack again with the missing spice thing. So no, she didn't pluck it off of there. Yeah, this would be cute. Also, can you imagine how adorably silly the fail would be if they're spinning it in the air and it lands on their head? I hope that happens because I think that would be so adorable. 
Yeah, she's gotten, like, level, skilling up, leveling up those skills. That's wonderful. As an aside, I kind of wish your skills, like, went down after a while if you haven't used them. Because I think that would be a fun way to have to constantly re-engage with what you're learning. Or maybe, maybe I, I push my sims too hard and they should just enjoy being really good at what they do so that they can mentor the young minds of tomorrow in how to spin pizza in the air and not chop your fingers off. Ooh, there's pomegranate waffles right here. Here's more of the decorative, adorable little containers. There's another type of pizza and a pepperoni pizza. Uh, this definitely is like a pasta set because we've got the spices. We've got a gigantic tub of tomato sauce, some fresh herbs, a big thing of cheese and a grater. There's quite a few types. Yeah, there's banana and strawberries for the uh, waffles a second to go too. Ooh, and now her food is fancy, and is this... I don't think that's a new hat. Like a little cupcake knitted hat, is it? Somebody had a tattoo of like a whisk and a, 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 a chef's knife, so they were really dedicated. This is the thing that for some reason stood out to me the most and got me the most excited. <laughs> this UFO pizza! Isn't that, like, so playful and fun? Oh my gosh, I could totally see some of my sims really loving that. Alright, and now everybody really loves her, like, famous pizza. And there are still more, like, more clothing items, more cast items that I'm seeing pop in, too. You know what? I like it. I think this is going to really bake up some fantastic stories for our sims since it does add a few gameplay mechanics and I like the style of everything. Even the things that I would not usually put on my sims like full body pizza outfits, I could see actually having a place tied in with the kind of gameplay that will become available. So that's a refreshing thing too. Oh, not to mention details and clutter for any part of our sims homes are always something that I'm really into. So seeing everything that we can start adding into the kitchen seems adorable. But all right, guys, I'm I'm pleased with this. Oh, oh dear. Well, you know, maybe, maybe some skill is still required. <laughs> and I'll be tickled just to see how it might add just a little bit of extra flavor to my sims stories and my sims lives which is what you expect out of a stuff pack so i don't know when but hopefully i will be able to share a bunch of delicious waffles with all of you pretty soon but let me know what you guys think like which of those foods do you think would be the most fun to sit down and eat because now i think i need to go and try out the new waffle maker my husband got me there's something about just watching a bunch of delicious waffles wafted by that makes you a little hungry so I'll see you guys next time. Stay curious, everyone. Bye-bye.